Welcome to the SCL auction preview where I, SCL Bent, give you a brief look at not only the private auction items, but the public auction items coming up in this week's auctions. Here we have our first item for the VIPs, Mistletoe Dive Claps. You can see it does still have the GameStop sticker up there. But the box has a few scuffs and scrapes around the edges, but in overall, pretty good condition so just a little normal wear and tear from standing amongst other boxes but good figure next up is rocky roll one of our trap team hard to find figures looks like may have been put on a little bit crooked here misaligned but little curve in the uh, card there little crease you can see it pointing the wrong way but other than that rocky rolls looking pretty good third item is shortcut a new inbox shortcut it does still have a GameStop sticker on it but thankfully these trap team cases hold together pretty well few creases and, and bumps around the edges it looks like cards bent a little bit there but for the most part this is still a solid figure here's eons elite spyro new in box the box itself appears to be in pretty good shape no problems with the corners there see the top picture still looks good all around pretty good box a little bit of a crease down on the bottom but not, not too significant actually then on the back on the back here there is something on there I don't know if that's food or what that is something got splattered across the back of this and dried on there wasn't cleaned up but otherwise, this Eon's Elite Spyro, looking very good. Here's a legendary Magic Lantern Creation Crystal. Still in the box. Comes along with the Mirror Mirror comic. You can see right in there in the back, of course. Still attached. Everything is included, but in the box a little bit beat up along the edges there and you can see the hook has been bent damaged a little bit um, but otherwise intact and our final item this week for the VIPs is this new inbox chompy mage so chompy mage is definitely hard to find and this one in particular still has the seals on the top the box does not appear to be damaged. Maybe just a little bit of normal wear and tear from its age. But um, this box looks amazing. The figure is amazing. And as everybody knows, very, very hard to find. Even out of box. As we move into the public auction items, please note the date change Normally auctions take place on Friday. This week they will be taking place on Saturday. First item this week is a damaged flare wolf. Looks good from the front, but you can see he does miss is missing the flame back there on his rocket. Otherwise, in great shape. Here we have Tough Luck, also a damaged figure. Once again, looks great just looking at it here until you find out that well, the head pops off. So super easy fix if you want to. Two drops of glue, you're good to go. Jade Fire Kraken. Obviously damaged here. Missing his left arm. I do not have the arm. But the figure itself still works in the game. A damaged Wildfire. Obviously missing his shield. Everything else still intact. Got its flame. Got its tail. The paint job looks good, but that shield is definitely gone. 
Damaged High Five. This is one I had unboxed and was about to put in the shop, but it got damaged in transit. Unfortunately, his wing broke off, snapped off. It's going to be a little bit harder to repair, but I have the wing, so you can try. I'll definitely ship that with it. Next is a Purple Lip Chill. Series 1 Chill with not the blue lips, but what I refer to as purple lips. You can see it there if I hold it in the light, right? But purple lip chill, nothing wrong with the figure, just a slight variation in color. Then we have Royal Double Trouble. We sold a few of these in auction recently in the past month or two. This is the last Royal Double Trouble that I have in my inventory currently. So if you're hoping to get one, don't wait. The big item this week is our Golden Hot Streak. Once again, nothing wrong with this figure. This is our spotlight item of the week. Very hard to find. Was released in Supercharger Starter Packs, but kind of distributed as a chase variant, even though it appears as Golden Hot Streak in the game. It was just randomly inserted into various starter packs. So I had to hunt it down like a chase variant. Here we have what we're calling the Kingpin Cake Topper. As you can see, the base is just gone. I don't have it. Don't know what happened to it. But we'll auction off this Kingpin figure. It does not stand up on its own. But you can do whatever you want with it. Stick it in a cake or stick it on your shelf. Maybe it's a paperweight. Have a wireless SSA portal. I believe it says for the Nintendo Wii. I don't know if these are interchangeable with other consoles, but there is the USB dongle inserted in the uh, battery compartment there. So it is complete. Battery is not included. Then we have Master Aurora in the damaged box. Still has a GameStop sticker on it. You can see the box damage up on the corner. And this item was made available to the VIPs first last week. They did not buy it. So now it trickles down to the public auction. Nothing wrong with the figure itself. It still works. Nice straight swords on the Aurora, but it does have the uh, box damage. Here is the Skylander Superchargers Strategy Guide, a paperback edition from Prima. Cover is in generally good condition. One corner is bent down here a bit. Seeing a little crease there. And if you hold it just right, you can see there's some rings on here. Looks like this was used as a coaster at some point. They put their drink on here. So a little bit messy on the cover. But otherwise, in pretty good shape. The book's not falling apart. Uh, it's All the pages are there as far as I can tell. It's uh, a good guide if you if you want that or if you just want to collect them. Just be aware that, yeah, the cover is a little bit beat up there. Then we have a few larger items, including this Skylander Swap Force tackle box carrying case. Snaps closed. And on the inside has nine compartments currently, but there are these removable dividers. So you can put bigger figures in there, or if you just want one big space, or however you want to divide this up. This is the Skylander Swap Force tackle box. You can see a little bit of uh, scuffing on the outside here. It's been used. It's not brand new. But there you go. Then we have a Skylander's Trap Team trap case. So this is one of two cases I got recently. You can see a bit of damage there. It's kind of unfortunate. I'll show you again when we get inside. Uh, a little bit of dent on that corner as well. The back looks pretty good, pretty clean there. But the important part is inside. As you can see, there are no stickers uh, on this trap case here. It's clean. And this is the alternate interior. The villains gathering at Wolfgang's. So there's that damage again. And actually, I think it kind of looks worse on the inside. But you can see something happened to that case there. It's not in perfect condition. 
But once again, this is the one that's a little bit harder to find, this case, the, with the alternate picture on the inside. And finally, I also have this Skylanders Trap Team Dark Edition Starter Pack for the PS3. Obviously, the figures will work with any console, but this should include the portal and, of course, the game for the PS3. You can see it's still sealed up top. And everything still seems to be there. Everything's intact. The box looks in great condition. I mean, it's still in this plastic bag. Like so They took good care of this thing, whoever had this. So, I mean, I'll give you a quick look around the edges here, but I didn't even really see any dings, dents, scratches. Uh, th this looks like you could have just gotten it out of the box at the store back in 2014 when it was released. This is um, about as good as they come. 